Yo, yo, Sly here, how's it going? Basically, Ableton have released Live 11 Beta. I completely missed the release and all the videos are out about all the different features on there. So I'm not gonna make a video about that because I'll be well late. I wanted to cover the feature comping basically because this is something which I've been wanting on Ableton for a long time, as I'm sure a lot of you have. So yeah, I'm gonna jump onto Ableton and record some cuts and basically test out this feature to see if it will be useful for recording scratches. So yeah, let's jump into Ableton. So as you can see here, I've already recorded some scratches and this is just a really simple beat made out of a load of loops. Um, I'll just play that real quick. So this beat is made up from a load of loops from this Capson Chill Trap and Future Bass. So I take literally no credit in the making of this beat. It's just, um, it's just a load of loops. Basically, this top bit here is made up of all these different parts down here. Yeah, so not perfect, but sounds pretty cool. So I'll just delete all this and show you how it works. Delete that, delete that, bang, bang. Then I'm gonna mute that and we're gonna head over to the decks and I'll record a few takes and then I'll come back and show you how it works. All right, so that worked, I think. Um, let's have a little looksy over here. We can unmute that. We can delete this little track here. I think, well, that you can see, we could get rid of that track as well because um, I was just warming up. And yeah, we've got these ones. I don't think this bottom one's too good, but all we need to do now is basically press B and we can select some bits. And as you can see, it's gonna be comping those to the top. So we can mix it up and we'll see if it sounds any good. I mean, I probably wouldn't do this if I was actually, it's kind of cheating, <laughs> um, but you know, I'd probably just do a little bit maybe like that and then if, something like that, let's try that. Right, so that's us change that. So we've got a nice bit there. That bit sounded weird as the starting part. So we could do some chirpy stuff and maybe let's bust here. All right, that's close enough, isn't it? I don't need to mess around with that too much. It, it transitions fairly well. It doesn't sound like, you know, weird. It's, it's just a cool, really fast way, I think, of being able to like layer up your cuts and make potentially some really, really cool sounding things. I wouldn't necessarily do it like this because I think it's, it is cheating a bit. But if you had different samples and you just wanted to like keep scratching, getting into the flow and then have a cool way of like actually just selecting those parts without having to keep stopping and starting, this is ideal. And I think that's really, really amazing. So big ups Ableton for finally giving us this feature. It's, um, it's really cool. Let's listen to the whole thing. Still not perfect, but yeah, you get the idea. And don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. Um, I'll, I've got some more videos on Ableton coming up, so I'll put them up here when they arrive. It, until that point, I'll put another video about something else. So cheers, guys. Bye.